Hey, hey everyone, welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and today we have got a viewer request from one of our long, long time subscribers. Very grouchy subscriber, yes. Mr. Um, what is his name? I Knights believe, of the Round Table? I, well, or I think he's Camelot. going to Knight of Camelot now. Changes his name a lot. And he's very grouchy. He's the resident Grinch, but you know, we, we still take his advice sometimes whenever he tells us to try something because as much as he loves to hate, he does, loves the channel. He does, yeah, he loves the channel yeah. and he loves leaving his mama's basement, yes. going over to Meyer. Yes, Meyer's is the favorite. His Meyer, yeah. Yep, no. <laughs> his favorite little grocery store <laughs> and finding things that he can eat. And yeah. so this is one of them that he likes, right? No, no, no actually he, this, is, this is a recommendation oh, because he hated it. He hated it, okay. Yes, yeah, so we will see today if, if it's bad or good. <laughs> this is the Stouffer's Macaroni and Beef. Freshly made macaroni in a hearty tomato and beef sauce. This is a 12.78 ounce, 12 and 7 eighths ounce. I hate how Stouffer's does that. It is that kind of tray. And this is about 3.48 at Walmart. Now I must go into a little story here. It says 30% more meat, asterisk, required by the macaroni and beef in sauce standard. I read that and I said, what the f there's a macaroni and beef sauce standard. And I looked it up, sure enough there is, from the USDA. So I downloaded their little PDF and I searched through there and I found that the standard meat content for a beef and macaroni thing is 12% beef. So they have at least 15.6% beef. Wow. Yes, because that would be 30% more. Yeah. yeah, so that's a lot. Yeah. Now, is there any way to verify that? Probably not. Yeah, probably they, they not. They can just but, say that, but you know. Yeah, so this is what's effed up, right? Something like this, they have a rule for. Yes. Or a law. Yes. But what about mango juice? Yes, Why is exactly. It mango juice can be advertised as mango juice, but then there's no mango. There's apple juice, there's pear juice, there's grape juice, but no freaking mango juice. How is that legal? Just goes to show you there's something terribly wrong with America's food system, like yes. food laws and everything like that, yes, right? Like, yes. It's just messed up. Yes. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. See, my concern is the whole tomato thing, because yeah. they let you know this is like um uh like a tomato sauce. Cause what yeah. should it normally be? Like Well, I mean Normally, I do think it is like a tomato sauce. You know, it smells like um, like an Indian dish. Kind of, yeah. You know? Now, I like the portion though. That's what I'm excited about. It's heavy. It feels like yeah. there's a lot of food in there. I mean, to be fair, it also looks like there's a lot of beef in there. I'm not like the biggest fan of the scent of it, but I think it more just smells beefy yeah. and like slightly tomato-y. Yeah. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Would King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table eat this? I don't think so. The reason is, for me, it was a deal breaker, was the tomato sauce. Really? It was like a ketchupy tomato sauce. Hmm. I just don't think it went well with this because we did um, what was it? The J Lo and Mark? No, J Lo oh, and yeah, um, yeah. Rod, um, A Rod. J Lo and Rod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What was the name of that I brand? Don't know, it was but, like Instant Pot frozen meals, though. Yeah, it was sold at Walmart, and we tried that one. That was like more like a Mac, Chili Mac. I right? think it was called I think, Chili Mac. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. You know, man. You know what? Now that you mention that brand, I have not seen it in like yeah. probably. Well, a year. they they did break up. J Lo and well, A Rod. Well, but I think she was only an investor in it, though, right? I know, but like you know. Yeah. Well, we didn't really like that product. We did. You know? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I wonder if it like went under. Yeah. You know. Um, I think this sauce is too like ketchupy. I think that's what hurts it. I think a product like this needs to be more like a chili mac mm -hmm. to really get it over. This, um. The beef was not seasoned as well as it could be. I didn't really love the beef. The macaroni in this was good, but the beef and the sauce, not so good. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I 
I'm with you. The macaroni is actually fine. I was expecting it to be not great because we've had some not great macaroni, like the actual noodles in these frozen meals. This one was actually not bad. It wasn't mushy. It didn't have any like funky texture or pastiness to it. So that was fine. The beef, there was a lot of it, you know, kudos for that. But it was also not great quality because I felt like it was a little chewy, you know, like I was, I was I just think it wasn't seasoned, man. Well, that, that also, it was very bland aside from it having the sauce on it. The actual meat didn't seem like it was seasoned before being added in. But the sauce is the deal breaker. You're right, it is basically like a thinned out ketchup, you know, cause that's, that's what it tastes like. It has the kind of sweetness, a little bit of like the tanginess of ketchup, except it's got some water in it added to like thin it out, you know? I feel like there was not nearly enough, if any, spices to like make it taste like a more well-rounded dish. Cause it was just like throwing like plain beef, plain pasta noodles and ketchup in a, in a thing and just stirring it up. That's, that's exactly what it tastes like. I think something like this, what do you think? Uh, do you agree with me? Chili Mac is a better way to go. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Cause then you have extra stuff going on in there. Yeah. I think this is like a, a product of like yesteryear, you know, Yeah. Uh, like the depression era and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, maybe back then it was good, but like nowadays, Chili Mac. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.